The Bedouin community is known as a nomadic society, traditionally wandering through the desert and living in tents. But the city of Rahat in southern Israel is an interesting phenomenon. Bedouin living in a modern city. I think that the modernization makes it a bit difficult for us. But our goal is to sustain our values. So we live in high-rise modern buildings, but also keep our values which moved from our grandfathers to our fathers and so on, such as respecting our neighbors, helping the elderly and those who need help. Several cultural and tourism organizations organize a series of tours in Rahat this year, dedicated to the holy Muslim month of Ramadan. During Ramadan, Muslims fast during the day, but hold colorful dinner celebrations to break the fast when night falls. It's an opportunity for non-Muslim tourists to explore Bedouin society and to meet its members. You meet the person, you eat with the person, you dance with the person, you sing with the person, and then all the stigmas and all the kind of ideas we have about other communities fall apart. And I'm a very big believer in shared society and the Bedouin tourism here is a really important aspect of shared society. Another goal is, of course, employment, social and economical development. But I believe that uh, shared society and peace and togetherness um, actually overcomes that. Fadma al-Zamle is an example of the complexity within Bedouin society and perhaps in the entire region. Born in Gaza, she married when she was only 17 years old and moved to Rahat. She now hosts different tourists, including Jewish Israelis who some Palestinians see as an enemy. We made this tent for peace. We want Jews and Arabs to come together. Even the Quran says that God commanded Jews and Arabs and everyone to live together in peace. Israeli and Bedouin society have a long and complex relationship. The main dispute is the unrecognized villages in the southern Negev desert, which Israel has tried to clear many times unsuccessfully. The situation led to clashes and violence. But experts see great opportunity in Rahat, especially after the peace treaties between Israel and the Gulf states. After the signing of the Abraham Accords, many entrepreneurs and investors went to Dubai, and we also saw an interest from their side. There is a great human resource here from different sectors of the business world, so it could be a win-win situation. It may not be a major tourist attraction. But the city of Rahat certainly provides a window to Bedouin society, a community which lives between faith, tradition, and modern life, in a time which may be a turning point for the society and the region. Hello.